wish you all a very happy a 78 independence day for all my indian subscriber and even i'm celebrating 78 today and we are going to start off with 2080 into 2860 in autodesk sketchbook for the screen resolution and i'm starting off with a rough sketch with the help of primary pencil because we are just going to add a building a bridge and a fluffy cloud and a street lamp so i just want to have that perspective before i start into adding some color so after doing the rough sketch i just reduced the opacity and we are here in the step one that is to paint a sky the most common step is to use coarse watercolor brush and i'm adding i think this is the most common color i have used to paint a sky so again we are going with the depth of dark blue and then followed by indigo blue and then some shade of the uh, blue family and two three color and once we are done we are going to smudge it around with the help of our blending brush let me know how you guys are celebrating today's independence day there is so much happening across but at the same time we are a country of secularism and of course we all stand together during the rough time so the happy part to be indian and i'm so proud to be among you all celebrating this 78 independence day independence is acquired because of its freedom i think in today's age and everything we want independent more than anything yes we are done blending also make sure to take your sweet time while blending this color because uh, please check the size flow and strength of the brush before blending in we are moving on to step two that is to draw a building this is one of the most easiest way we can draw any building so i'm using the help of draw style straight line option and i'm going to slowly add the color i thought of not using the rectangle box because i want to add the linear color the darker shade of the blue and the lighter shade then i somehow didn't end up liking this so what i did is i fill the top half of the illustration and then with the help of a wash brush i just blend it across because i want to give the shadow of the sky and the sun has already set like the night building effect here i felt like this gives me better option and of, co of course with the help of blending brush i'm going to add the depth of the building that is to draw a diagonal line from the following up building and a straight line so i just slowly blend it across once i'm done i just reuse the size of the building and then i copy the exact illustration and paste it in the same page so that this looks like a building from a distance so the edge i just slowly smudged it around so that we can't figure out that is like a two different illustration with the help of glow neon pen we are just going to dab it, dab across the building for this uh, light from the apartment just make sure you put the tiniest of pressure because we don't want the light to pop out but rather it look like a building at a distance because because we have a two show topper for this entire illustration which we are moving to step three that is to draw a bridge so drawing a bridge looks very complicated but it's very simple we are just going to add a full set of diagonal diagonal lines filling along the way and add four pillar one looks like a front pillar another the back side back of the pillar that is behind a pillar so just take your sweet time and also if you look we are going from the top to bottom so the from the front part it's looked like we are having a wider depth but as we go down to the bridge it's look little bit narrower and once make sure you add two different set of color in the middle it's going to be a darker shade but at the same time make sure to add the lighter shade to the edge of the bridge because we are going to add the pillar and then we are going to add the shadow and also i'm going to add railing to the bridge and i'm using font and pen with the help of draw style we are bringing this entire bridge together it does look complicated but just take your sweet time and here as you can see i'm doing a multiple attempt to draw the pillar which is supposed to be very small but it's take a little bit time so just make sure you take your own time so once we are done adding pillar to one side of the building we bridge we are going to do the same for the other so if you look at the back side of the building we are going to start at the edge of the line okay but for the front of the building we are going a little bit in a higher shade that is at the middle of the bridge and then we are adding it across and once i'm done with the help of a flow airbrush with and we are selecting the darker shade here it is the black color so i'm just going to add the shadow from uh, the one from one pillar to another pillar and also i'm going to add shadow to the pillar and to the bridge inner side so it kind of comes all together by adding 
how much attention you're going to give for any illustration. This is completely inspired by image from Pinterest. The artist has done an amazing job. At the same time, I want to bring it out uh, to bring this illustration in as easy a way as I can so that we all can give it a try. At, at the same time, art is all about giving that attention to detail, okay? It's a little bit of detail here. You can see I'm adding shadow to the front of the bridge, that is, uh, to the pillar of the bridge, and I'm using a lighter shade. I'm doing the same thing for the railing of the bridge, okay? The top part of the bridge, right? I'm adding a lighter shade of purple, and then with the help of blending brush, I'm slowly going to blend across also with the help of same flow airbrush. I'm doing the same thing for the rest of the railing. So just make sure you give this little bit of attention to detail and it's going to create this impressive looking illustration which you never thought of also every time i finish an art i'm just going like oh my gosh i never thought how beautiful it has turned out and now we are moving on to the most simple of the all we are going to draw a street lamp and with the help of fountain pen and i'm uh, choosing a shade of dark uh, indigo and with the help of draw style i'm going to add two straight line one diagonal line and then i'm going to give a circular way as a lamp and with the help of glow neon pen i'm going to add those glow to the lamp this is not going to be highlight part of the illustration but just another element so that it looks like you're on a flyover bridge and if you want you can add multiple of this street lamp but it's up to you i thought one is enough for me because i don't want it to take a center of stage because all i want the center of stage is the bridge and the fluffy cloud so once i'm done adding it i felt like it should be in a little bit not a circular way but like a criss across and i felt low and then i felt like i should add a depth of orange i'm using flow airbrush to give that orange tinge to our lamp so once we are done here we are moving on to the main show topper which is our fluffy cloud i think a lot of illustration i have done so many type of fluffy cloud but every time i start it looks so different so here yeah i'm using a tattoo inker to add the outline of uh, the cloud and once i'm done i'm going to use the fill bucket option to fill and again with the help of a tattoo inker i'm going to add the depth of the cloud which is a darker shade and then we are going to add a lighter shade to the outside of the cloud so all this looks like an outline of the cloud there is nothing happening here some, so this is where it happened like once we are done adding this outline and the filling we feel like oh our illustration is done no the blending gives all what you take that extraordinary effort to make the illustration pop out and bring and also we are going to use the small magic to bring that vibrant fluorescent light from the cloud i'll show you how in a few minutes so with the help of wash but i'm going to slowly blend this across the inside and the outside of the cloud here i'm not doing anything difficult i'm just blending the darker shade to the lighter shade and i'm bringing this circular way on the outer out side of the cloud so that it looks like it's smudged out well because i don't want any rough edges and we are doing exactly how we are supposed to do in rest of the illustration as you can see now i'm at the edge of the cloud i'm slowly blending it across the sky and then if you look i'm going in a circular way rather than in a horizontal or a vertical way so here is the magic i'm using color dodge to actually bring the luminosity from the sky and i'm so happy how it looks i was a little bit confused with soft light or the the color dodge i'm like no this looks extraordinary so based on that i added a lower uh, side of the fluffy cloud so that it looks like the luminosity is coming only from the middle of the cloud and also the top side of the fluffy cloud is a little bit in the darkest shade and i felt like maybe a little more scattered cloud above the building will look extraordinary so with the help of tattoo inker add a few more and with the help of wash brush i'm sl slowly blending it across so just make sure on the right side there is a lot of layer going on so make sure to add as many layer as you want and once you are done you are going to be absolutely happy how this image turned out make sure to tag me in my instagram if you have not yet subscribed to my newsletter you should definitely because it's one more day we are moving on to our second newsletter of our channel which is free newsletter from my inbox to inbox to your inbox also there is a uh make sure to use glow neon to add those beautiful star in the sky and see you all in the next one tinder have a great life enjoy because every second is worth it and you deserve it see you all in the next one take care bye bye